Hi everyone, welcome back to Amala Fitness on IC Digital TV. My name is Kim and I'm going to be leading you through our 50 minute full body workout, no weights. So all you're going to need is a towel, um, water bottle and a mat. We are going to have 14 exercises, 15 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to run through that. That's going to be our first set. We're going to have a one minute break. And then we're going to do that two more times. So we've got three sets of 14 exercises today with a warm up and cool down. That's going to bring us to 50 minutes. It is going to be active recovery as well. So we're going to keep that heart rate up in our one minute break. I will let you break, but if you want to jog on the spot and keep that heart rate up, even in that one minute break, you are more than welcome to do that. So let's take a moment here, grab your stuff. And we are going to start with a little stretch in about couple seconds here. All right, for a warm up today, let's just get into some jumping jacks, just nice and light, warming up the body. If this is too much for you, then you could just side to side or back up here. Like I said, just warming up the body. Right, keep going we got 10 more seconds and then we are gonna get started here with our first exercise Three, two, one. for this first exercise side shuffle one times as I'm knocking over two times touch the ground make sure you move things out of your way so you're not like me knocking things over Little squat, touch the ground on each side. We got 50 seconds here. Staying low as you shuffle, getting into those legs. Keep that chest up. Stay with me. We got five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Little jog on the spot here. We're gonna get down into our push-up position right now. Three, two, here we go. One, go. Shoulder tap, tricep push-up. Shoulder tap on each side, tricep push-up. If it's too much from your toes in a full plank. Come down to your knees. Alternating here. Tuck that tailbone under. Come down into a push-up. As I always say, Halfway there. this is your workout. I give options. I give modifications. I want you guys to keep moving. Even if it means coming down to your knees. Just keep moving with me. We're going to get back up onto our feet. One, rest. Back on our feet. A little jog here. From here, we're moving into a reverse lunge with a high knee, starting with the right leg. Stepping back, knee high. Staying just with the right leg. We're going to burn out this left glute here for these 50 seconds. And then for our next 50, we're going to move to the left. Coming straight back. This left knee is right over that left ankle. As you step back, Halfway there. chest is high. Gauge your core as you bring that knee up. Five more seconds. Let's jog it out on the spot here. Little jog for 10 seconds, and then we're switching over to the right side. Three, two, one, this time, go. left leg steps back, left leg high. Just as you did on the other side, as you step back, you want that right knee 
on top of the ankle. And as you step up, press through that right heel. That's going to engage your glute on the right side. Halfway there. Chest is up. Staying with your breath. Hope you feel that heartbeat coming up already. Last five seconds on this side. Jogging on the spot here. Next, we are going to get back down onto the mat. Tricep dip with opposite legs. So come down onto the mat. We're going to do a small mini tricep dip. Right hand to left toes, left hand to right toes. Dip and twist. If you're like me and have really short arms, it's not going to feel like you're dipping too much. Keeping that core nice and tight. Halfway there. Really engaging your obliques as you twist. Back up on our feet. Jog here. Three, two, one. From here, down into your plank, mountain climbers. Opposite knee to elbow if you want to get into the obliques like Andre, or you could just drive the knee straight up. The faster you go, the higher that heart rate's gonna get. So pick where you wanna be. If this is too much and you just wanna hold a plank, hold a plank, you're still working here. We got options, just stay with me. Keep moving. Back up on our feet, little jog here, get those knees up a bit, or you could do a little twist. From here, we are going to do split squat, or split lunge I should say, with a twist. Alternating legs. Keep that core tight and imagine you're squeezing the legs together. That's going to help with your balance. Keeping your feet about hip width apart. All right, jogging on the spot. From here, we are gonna come down to our downward facing dog here. Downward facing dog. On your inhale, move into a high plank. Tricep push up, push up. Back to your downward facing dog. Flowing through this for our next 45 seconds or less probably at this point. The push-up is getting to be too much. Hold the plank for a breath or two. And then push back into your downward facing dog. Three, two, one. Back rest. up. Jogging here on the spot. We're going to stay up on our feet here. One, go. Keep those knees high. Jump. One, two, three, four, five. Jump. Alternating. 
We got five. One, two, three, four, five, and opposite. Halfway there. Keep that chest up. spot here. I know we probably really got our heart rates up. Keep those knees high. Three, two, one, go. From here, lateral lunge to the right, curtsy squat. So this left leg doesn't move. Really press into this right glute, press through that right heel to bring this leg up. Curtsy squat. If you want to challenge your balance a bit, don't let this right leg touch the ground there. as you transition between the two. Keep your chest up. Really sinking back into that glute as you come over to the side. Jogging on the spot here, and then we're going to move right into that left side. So come over to the right side of your mat, and you're going to step over to the left, left leg behind the right, alternating here. Like I said before, if you want to challenge your balance a little more, don't let this left leg touch the floor in between the transitions. If you need to stop here, as you transition, that is completely okay. As I said before, just giving options. As you come out of this curtsy squat, really push through that right glute to help you stand up. Jogging on the spot here. I'm going to fix my mat because it's sliding. Just keep jogging. We're going to get down into our plank. Down into our plank here. Lift that right arm. Bring it down. Lift the left arm. Bring it down. Lift the right toes. Down. Left toes. Down. Keep alternating. Right arm. Down. Left arm. Down. Right toes. Down. Left toes, down. Right arm, down. Left arm, down. Right toes, down. Left toes. Keep going here. Find your rhythm. Belly button to spine. Jogging on the spot. We got two more. Then you get your one minute rest. You guys are doing great. Stay with me. Hold it here. Static squat. Alternating. Getting into those obliques a little. Punching in opposite direction. Getting a little twist from the hips. The lower you go in your squat, the more you're going to work those legs. If you're getting that burn, that's good. Halfway there. Exhale as you punch. Ten seconds here. Stay low. You got it. Last exercise after this. Jogging on the spot. Knees up. And then let's get down into our plank. From here, in our plank. Come back into your down dog. Right hand to your left ankle. Alternating. 
Opposite hand to opposite angle, or ankle, ankle. Can't even speak. Once again, engaging those obliques as you twist, reaching to the opposite side. Good news, we got our one minute break. You guys made it through your first set. Grab a sip of water here. Towel off. If you're liking this class, if you join me in other classes and like this channel, you could always join our Patreon page. The link is above. For as little as six cents a day, you're supporting myself and the producer of this channel. As part of the Patreon page, there are extra little benefits, like you'll get videos sooner, once a month question, Q&A with me. So if you're interested in that, check it out. We definitely would appreciate it. Um, appreciate your support. I love putting out these videos. These are for you guys. And in saying that, I'm always open for feedback. So let me know what you guys want more of. We got five more seconds until we get started. We're going to do that shuffle once again. Down, 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 down. All right, let's get ready to get, let's get ready for set number two. Three, We're going to start with two, the side shuffles one, with a little squat. So one, two, down. Just shuffling back and forth. I'm going to move my water bottle because I feel like I'm going to knock it over again. Keep that chest up. And low in your squat as you shuffle side to side. Just two. One, two, and down. Halfway there. Jogging on the spot. We're gonna get down into our plank, shoulder taps with that tricep push up. Three, this next. Two, down on the mat, right here, starting with the shoulder tap. Right hand to first with your push up. As I said before, if you want, drop down to the knees, keep that um, pelvis. Tilted forward, no butts in the air. Do the push up or full plank. We got options. Just stay with me. I know you all have it in you. You're all strong. Stay out of your head. Back up on our feet. We're going to do that reverse lunge, starting with the right leg stepping back. Reverse Three, lunge. Two, knee to chest. So right leg back, right knee high. As you're coming back into standing, driving through this left heel. If you want, poke that left butt cheek. Make sure you're engaging it. Chest is high. Core is tight, that's gonna help with your balance. Remember to breathe. Last five seconds. Guys, jogging on the spot, and then we're moving right into that left leg. Left leg stepping back, driving through that right heel. Three, two, Let's go. One, two, left leg back, 
Left leg up. Feet are about hip width apart. One side might feel a little harder than the other. This is actually my harder side. And it's okay. Halfway there. Core engage as you drive that knee up. Keep that chest up. Last 10 seconds. Jogging on the spot. Then we're down into our tricep dip. Alternating hand to ankle. One, go. Down. Little tricep dip. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Alternating here for our next 40 seconds. Try to keep your butt off the ground as you touch your toes. And also try to keep your shoulders out of your ears. None of that. Pull the shoulders down. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Keep pushing. Back up on our feet in three. Two, one, rest. Back up. Jogging on the spot, we're going to turn around and get into our mountain climbers. Three, two, Down here. One, into our two. plank. Either opposite knee to elbow or just driving those knees straight forward. Decide if you want to get into those obliques a little more. If you feel like you're tired, hold your plank here. Maybe you hold a plank from your knees. I want you to pick one of these four options, but don't cheat yourself. Halfway there. Try to push yourself. Get yourself out of your comfort zone. That's where you see improvement. That's where you see change. spot. We got our little jump split squat Three, with a twist. Up two, next, turn around one, here. Go. Jump, twist. Alternating feet here to help with the balance. Squeeze the legs together. Pull that belly in. seconds. I know this one is a hard one, guys. Stay with me. Three, two, one. On your feet. Let's jog on the spot. From here, we're going into our downward facing dog. Three, Moving into that plank with a tricep one, dip. Go. Hips high. Inhale to plank. Exhale down. Push up. Exhale to downward dog. Flowing through this. The nice one about this one, you get in your downward facing dog, you get a little stretch for a second. Halfway there. If you need to hold the downward dog for a breath or two, that is okay. Hold it and then come back and join me. Back up on our feet. Knees are up. We're going to keep this jog and jump from side to side, starting on the left. 
One, two, three, four, five. Jump over to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Alternating. Chest is up. If you want to feel a bit more burn in your legs, get a little lower in a squat. One, two, three, four, five, to the left. Three, two, One more to the left. Good job. Let's keep those legs up. Keep jogging with me. And if you need to just do a little three, kick here, two, that's fine. Just keep on eating. All right, from here, lateral lunge to the right. Right leg behind the left. Our lateral lunge with our curtsy squat. As before, if you need to drop your toe in between the transition, that is okay. If you want to work on your balance a little more, float the leg up as you move through this transition. Keep your chest up at all times. Hips stay square, no turning as you go into that lateral lunge. Driving through the right heel here, drive through the left heel here. Right heel push, one more here. Left, good. Stay with me. We're gonna move right over to the right side of the mat and get into that lateral lunge to the left side. Right here, let's go. Left leg, curtsy squat. Keeping that chest high. This time, here, push through the right glute. Push through the left glute. Maybe floating that left toe as you transition. We got three more exercises after this in this set. And then we got a rest and we're on our home stretch with our final set. You guys are doing great. We're more than halfway done. Keep pushing. You're gonna thank yourself after this workout. All right, jogging here on the spot. Keeping that heart rate up. We're moving into our plank. Alternating, lifting the arms and legs. Starting with that right arm. And then moving into the left. Right toes come up. Left toes, right arm, left arm, right toes, left toes. Keep alternating here. If this is kind of hard, come down to your knees, bring your right arm. Halfway there. Left arm, right leg back, left leg back. So pick where you are right now. If you're noticing you're getting maybe some pain in the lower back, Dropping down to the knees might be a good option. Keep doing this class and you will build your way up to here. Three, two, one more. One, good. Rest. Up on your feet, jogging on the spot. Two more exercises. We're getting into Three, that static two, squat. One, Alternating two, punches. Down low, starting to the left. Keep that belly pulled in. Engage your obliques as you twist. Exhaling as you punch. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds here. Stay low. I know you might feel a bit of burn in the legs, but that's good, that means you're working them. We'll be off our feet in five seconds. Actually, that's a lie. We're gonna jog in five seconds. Then we'll be back into our plank for our last exercise for the set. All right, let's get down into our plank here. 
from here, right hand to left ankle, plank pushing back into your down dog, grabbing for your opposite foot. Keep that core strong here. Keep pushing right to the end. We're gonna get a break right after this. Keep going. I know you got it in you. Three, two, one, rest. Good work, everybody. All right, we got our one minute rest. Towel off, grab some water, catch your breath. And if I'm not pushing you hard enough, keep jogging on the spot. Get back to your uh, jumping jacks either, or as well if you'd like. We got 30 more seconds here, and this will be our final set. So 14 more minutes of work, then we'll get in a nice stretch, and you can get on with your day. All right, I'm ready to get back to jogging on the spot. I don't know about you, but if you are, come join me. We got 15 more seconds until we get started with our shuffle steps. Starting on the left, two over and touch. Staying low, chest is up. I know those legs might be getting tired, but let's push through it. We're on our home stretch. Shoulder tap with a tricep push up. Let's get down. Starting with the right hand, alternating. Push up. Remember, full plank's too much. Drop down to the knees, tuck those hips forward, push up. As you do the push up, make sure those elbows are staying glued into your side. Sometimes as you get tired, they want to come out. That's just hard on the shoulders. If you notice that happening, maybe drop down to the knees. Three, two, one more, one more, push it through. Rest. Good. Get up on your feet, we're jogging it out. Up next is that reverse lunge. Three, Stepping back two, with the right foot, one, driving that right knee up. Driving through that left heel as you stand up. You feeling a little burn in that left glute? I know I am. Last 10 seconds. Staying on our feet here. 10 seconds active recovery. One, rest. And then moving straight into our left leg. Definitely going to help with the balance. 
Engage the core as you drive that knee up. recovery. We're dropping down onto our hands for our tricep dip, alternating arm to leg. Come on down. Hip. Hands underneath the shoulders, little dip, hips stay up, right hand to left foot, alternating. Keep the hips up as you touch opposite feet. Pull that belly into spine, shoulders out of your ears. Halfway there. Pushing through the heels to help keep the hips up. Five seconds. We're going to get on our feet for our 10 second active recovery and then turning around to get into our mountain climbers. Three, All right, two, into our plank, driving opposite knee to elbow, maybe just driving the knee straight, maybe holding a static plank for a few breaths, then coming back to the mountain climbers. If this is all too much, drop down to your plank. Or sorry, drop your knees down, hold your plank from here. One of four options. Pick one and stay with me. Less than 10 seconds, keep going. Heart rate should be up here. Onto our feet, jogging on the spot. We got our straight squat with the twist. From here, coming back, twisting, alternating legs. Feet are hip width apart, squeezing those legs together, using the inner thigh, known as your adductors, to do that. Engage your obliques. As you twist, pull that belly in. Ten seconds. You should be able to get one more on each side. Come on, let's push it. Good news, we got seven exercises left. Halfway through the set. Let's come down into our downward facing dog. Moving through our flow, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, lower down, back. If you need, from this plank, drop down to your knees, do a little tricep push up, come back to your plank, downward facing dog. This is a modification. Pick one, inhale to plank, exhale down, there. push it back up, exhale back.
quick feet as you jog in the spot. Chest is up, shoulders back. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Keep those legs moving. Active recovery here. We're going into our lateral lunge to the right. So come to the left side of your mat. Stepping over to the right. Right leg comes back behind the left. Options, toe comes down. In between the transition, toe floats up. Chest is up, driving through those heels as you transition. So here, driving through that right, here, driving through the left. I want those glutes to be burning. We're on our final set. Three, two, one. Stay on your feet. Of recovery and you could even jog over right over to this right side because we're going to start with that Three, lateral two, lunge one. to the left left leg behind the right alternating chest is up remember it here drive through this left heel here drive through the right And as you step that left leg back, coming straight down. Three, two, one. One more curtsy squatting. Good work, guys. We got three more exercises. Active recovery here. Then we're getting down into our plank. Alternating arms and legs, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Drop down to the knees if you need, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Especially if you're down on the knees, make sure you pull your belly bump to spine to take any pressure out of the lower back. When you're lifting the legs up, it's just a little movement maybe six inches off the mat. Don't hyperextend the back. Three, two, one. Get that last leg up yet? Good. Up on your feet. Active recovery and then we're going into our static squat. Alternating punches. Let's get low. Starting to the left here. Exhale as you punch. Core is engaged. Use those obliques to twist. If you're not feeling a burn in your legs, get a little lower. Can you get an inch lower? We got 20 more seconds. We're almost done. Three, on your feet, two, one, jogging on the spot. Last exercise. We're gonna move into that plank. Kind of shifting into the downward dog, reaching for opposite ankle. So from your plank, right hand to left ankle, alternating here.
Keep your core tight here. Use the core to help shift you back and forth from your plank to your down dog and to keep you in balance as you reach for opposite ankle. This is it guys, less than 10 seconds. Stay with me, push right to the end. And we are done. Good work, all right. Let's take a little cool down. You know, let's, since we're down here, let's start down on our knees. Let's bring that right leg forward and get into our left hip flexor. This is probably one of my favorite stretches. So many of us sit a good portion of the day, whether you have an office job, you're in school, you drive a lot. So this kind of gets a little release of that front hip. From here, shift your weight back, straighten your right leg, flex your toes towards your face. We'll get into the hamstrings. If it feels good, you could kind of rock the heels side to side. And then switching it out. Left leg comes forward. And then shift the hips forward. You want to slide this left hip back right and forward. That's going to help you get into that right hip flexor just a little more. Couple breaths here. And then as you exhale, begin to straighten this left leg. Flex your toes up towards your face. low here turn and go lateral onto the mat we're gonna stay extend the right leg out and kind of get into this inner thigh stretch out from what we did from the lateral lunges so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like this channel, subscribe. We've got new videos coming out every Sunday night, Monday morning, depending where you are in the world. And as I said earlier, I'm always open to feedback and loving to hear what you guys want to see more of. So leave me a message. I do look at those. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Let's switch to the other side. Couple breaths here. If you want a bit more of a stretch, Flex that left toe towards your face. And then let's slowly come up. Step your feet together. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Bring that left arm behind your head, getting into that left tricep. We did a few dips. We did some push-ups, so just stretch that out. Inhale, bring the arms up, and then switch as you exhale. Release the hands down. Let's take a big inhale, reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, sweep your hands behind your back. Clasp your hands together and then begin to lift your arms off your back. This is gonna give you a nice chest stretch. This is also really good for posture for those of you that sit a lot at work, drive a lot on your computer, text messaging. Um, this just opens up the front side of the body. And like I said earlier, we were doing some push-ups today. All right, release the hands, give it a little shake. As I said before, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Hope to see you again next week. Until next time.